Hello, my name is Jeffrey Stout, sports editor of the Daily Review here in Morgan City, and welcome to Inside the Huddle, a new prep preview we will be doing each week to preview local high school football games. And this week, in addition to previewing the local high school games, we'll also give you a little preview on the season for the local high school teams. Uh, we have three games this week. Uh, action kicks off tonight with Central Catholic going to St. John of Plaquemine, while on Friday, Patterson will travel to Central Lafourche, and the area's marquee game will be Morgan City versus Berwick. So let's start off with a little preview on each team. Uh, we'll start off with Central Catholic. In 2015, Central Catholic returns quite a bit of depth and experience, including two All-State selections from a year ago, and running back Stefano Garisco and defensive lineman T.J. Ruffin. The squad also has several other uh, first or second team All-District selections, However, one of those selections, uh, first team all district wide receiver, Samaric Paul, was injured in the team's uh, jamboree against Catholic High New Iberia, so the Eagles will have to find some other options to replace him. As far as on defense, they return, in addition to Ruffin, first team all district linebacker Tanner Wiggins is another um, player to look for. And last week against Catholic High New Iberia, things didn't go too well for the Eagles. They fell 21-0. And in addition to giving up 182 yards of total offense all on the ground, they were limited to minus four rushing. So definitely they'll be looking for a lot better things this week. They opened the season this week against St. John of Plaquemine, as I've said. St. John features a running back and a tight end that Coach Tommy Minton said to look for. One of uh, the running back is Gavin Landry, and the tight end is Connor Crockett. Uh, those two guys, Minton said, will uh, basically lead the offense, you know, and now the Eagles will have to keep an eye on them in order to be successful. On defense, St. John runs a 3-3 stack, and they, they blitz a lot. As for Patterson, Patterson comes into this year with a lot of experience back, some weapons back on offense. They have Sebastian Charles, who was the District 93A MVP on offense a year ago, as well as Michael Jones, who is not only one of the state's top wide receivers, but is also one of the nation's best. He's got uh, quite a few offers and has a top four he released that includes Ole Miss, uh, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Alabama, and LSU. So he's got quite the selection to choose from. Um, Another, uh, unfortunately though, Jones is out right now with an injury early this season. And uh, he, along with another wide receiver, Shea Ragas, is also injured. So Lumberjacks will be, um, def they might start off a little slow earlier this season. You know, an another key player they have coming back is Tristan Osama, a running back from a year ago. And on defense, they return uh, standout Nehemiah Augustus, who, like Jones, also has quite a few offers, including Arizona State and Nebraska, to name a few, that he has to choose from for this year. And he, uh, he is just wrecks havoc on defense for the Lumberjacks. Um, they will be facing, in uh, last week in the Jamboree, they defeated Morgan City 13-12. to They got a one-yard run for a touchdown by by Charles at quarterback, and then Charles connected with D.J. Jones for a 66-yard touchdown pass. As far as this week, they'll be facing Central Lafouche. Central Lafouche defeated Bruley last week 18-0 in their jamboree, and they feature a Nickel State commit in Anthony Poindexter, who had an 80-yard interception return a week ago, as well as a 10-yard run on offense. And Patterson coach Chad Blanchard said this week that if their defense can stop Central Lafouche's offense run game, that he likes their chances with, uh, with Patterson's athleticism in some situations. As far as Berwick, the marquee matchup, Berwick and Morgan City. Berwick this year, Berwick has had their struggles in recent years. And this year, you know, they have a group of kids that is comprised of three years worth of junior high parish champions that are now in high school. So Berwick this year, in their preview, one thing Craig Brody said the team is talking about this year is playoffs, something that hasn't been achieved in Berwick since 1996. So that's, uh, expectations are obviously high in Berwick. This year the team has 67 players out, and with more possible coming out, that's the most in the Tri-City area. 
among their weapons on offense this year are Audwin Williams, who was an honorable mention All-State selection a year ago and is getting some college attention, and Keenan Jones, a sophomore who was second team All-District wide receiver last year and played both ways. So those are two guys to look out for, for them. And the Jamboree last week, they defeated Covenant Christian 13 to 12, uh, excuse me, 22 to 15. And they ha got touchdown runs. All their touchdowns weren't by either Jones or Williams. They got a 55-yard touchdown run by Josh Carver. And Joshua Jones returned a kickoff, 55 yards. Darren Robichaux had a six-yard touchdown run. And... They also had a safety, so obviously you can tell by a 55-yard touchdown run, 55-yard kickoff return that they have some explosive capability and, can, and should be able to do some good things this year. Now, as far as Morgan City, that their opponent, Coach Craig Brody said he expects Morgan City and their wing T offense to try to ground the ball out and keep the ball away from them. Morgan City, on the other hand, while this year they returned four starters on the offensive line, including second-team all-district selection Hunter Vining, they do have a lot of, uh, they do have some uh, skill players to replace, uh, some speedy skill players such as Kevon Marsh in the backfield and Jalen Jones at wide receiver. On defense, though, defense is going to be one of their strong points as well. They returned four players that made all district uh, second team defensive linemen Desmond Young and Clifton Escort and linebackers Andre Welsh and Zach Hillen. They had an impressive showing last week with a 13-12 loss to Patterson in a game that they almost came back and pulled off an upset. And they controlled the ball in the second half for much of the game, uh, for much of the second half. And uh, looking towards this week, though, Coach Scott Tragel said that looking at Berwick, he said, while they do have Keenan Jones and Audwin Williams, they're two top receivers. They're more than that, obviously, by the run game with the Carver touchdown run and Darren Robichaux with the touchdown last week in their uh, loss to Patterson. Morgan City got touchdown runs. Kedrick Scott had a three-yard run, and Trey DeRuin had a five-yard run. Also, um, while we have a little bit of time um, in this week's preview, I wanted to also tout that tomorrow, in addition to our annual Shrimp Petroleum Festival edition that comes out, along with that, we have our football preview, which features – not only are previews on the four high school teams, but also this year we have 15 features on either on college players, as well as one feature on a pro prospect from this area, Kenny Hilliard, who is in camp right now with the Texans. And as you can see on the front, we have Aldwin Williams from Berwick and Tremaine Lightfoot, a linebacker at, from Patterson, who is expecting to see playing time at uh, lots of playing time at ULL this season. So. Uh, if you get a chance, pick up a copy. There's lots of good stuff in here. And until next week, we'll see you again on Inside the Huddle.